Hey, this is Praxis Prepper. It looks like there's another toilet paper shortage looming on the horizon. If you'd like to get ahead of this one, in this video I've got a solution that's going to do three things for you. One, it's going to remove the headache of having to deal with the shortage. Two, it's definitely going to save you money. And three, it'll overall improve the general quality of your life from here on going forward. If you'd like to hear more about it, stick around. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything As a prepper, the toilet paper shortages that some people were dealing with during COVID, were, they were never an issue, they never came up here. But despite that, I wanted to try out different alternatives to toilet paper to make my toilet paper stores last longer, just try different things. And a bidet, which is what this video is about, was something that had been uh, suggested to me for a long time. I was kind of curious about it. They seem like this weird exotic thing that have like flashing lights and music in Japan. And it was something I figured, well, I'll give that a try. And I'm so glad I did. As I referenced in the opening of this video, it saves a ton of money. It guarantees that I'm never going to have any kind of issues with toilet paper shortages because we are completely, you know, off grid in terms of toilet paper at this point. And also, it's just a much more comfortable and, and clean and effective way of cleaning yourself. Uh, you know, if you think if you were to go outside and touch some like dog crap on the ground, then you could come in for dinner. You're gonna like just take your hands and rub them in some old newspapers and be like, oh yeah, they're totally clean, they're ready to go. You know, washing yourself is so much a better way of cleaning yourself than just smearing things around on you with paper. So for so many reasons, I really love the bidet. I'm gonna talk about it in this video. I had some misconceptions before I got into it. I've been just happy about everything. Everything that I you know, had that was a misconception was something that I thought would be like kind of a downside of a bidet, and it's really all upsides. Uh, I just got back from a camping trip, and uh, you know, not, be, not having my bidet uh, while I was out there, like a travel bidet or anything like that, you know, I can feel it. It's just, you know, using the paper, it's harsher on your butt. And, uh, you know, when you, I got home, it was nice to have it again. So I'm going to talk about the one that I have here. Uh, there are lots of different bidets. You don't have to get this one. Uh, I chose this because it came from a company that I felt was pretty reputable. They've been around for a while. This is a pretty uh, decent quality one, I felt, and it's lived up to uh, its reputation. Uh, and, you know, there are certainly ones that you can get that are more expensive. There are ones that you can get that are, that are cheaper. But I really like this one in particular because it has this feature here, which is, well, it's upside down, but it says hot. This one uh, offers warm water, and I really like that. Not everybody in the house really cares. I think I, I, I'm probably the one that cares the most about that. Uh, but I really, really like this thing. So uh, I want to talk about it as a way of... Uh, not having to deal with toilet paper shortages as a way of saving money and as a way of just uh, increasing kind of the, the quality of your life and uh, you know being more effective at, at cleaning yourself. So uh, the way this thing is set up is that it gets water in through the back here. Uh, this is the cold water line, this braided metal hose, and this just goes right into this T back here. This tea comes with the with the kit, and all you really need for this kit is a wrench. I think it, the kit actually kind of came with its own little pl plastic wrench. I just used my uh, you know my little you know plumber's metal wrench for it. Uh, but the, the kit comes, I believe, with pretty much. I think it comes with everything that you need. Uh, that's where the, the cold water comes in, and the hot water goes in this little plastic tube, and you can follow it back over here. The, the hot water line really only works if you have a sink nearby, uh, you know, that, that has hot water. Uh, they, they give you, you know, sev several more feet of uh, this white plastic hose than I needed to use, but you, you have to have your sink, kind of, you know, kind of somewhat near where your toilet is. So obviously, the cold water is already going into the toilet, but uh, if you want to uh, hook up the hot water feature, you also uh, need to have a hot water source. Now if you don't have a hot water source you can still buy this unit and you know maybe some day later you can install the hot water. They have a little plug so you can use the own unit even without hot water. Uh, but I was able to set up, up with hot water in this bathroom. In our upstairs bathroom it's only cold, cold water so you know which bathroom I'm, I'm using every morning. Uh, this is just a little tea that comes with the kit and uh, this is where the hot water comes in for the sink. All you need to do for the installation is just close these valves uh, here and the one that's down below the toilet there. You just close the valves off. That'll make it so when you uh, unscrew things, it's not spraying water all over your all, all over your bathroom. And uh, the, you, the, the instructions are very simple. I, I think pretty much anybody could do this. I'd like to say anybody could do this install, uh, but you know, I've I've met a few people, so I. I'm, I'm aware that not everyone in the entire world could pull this off, but anyone with you know moderate intelligence 
who's willing to follow the instructions could totally do this. It's a total breeze, uh, no big deal at all. So once you get the thing installed, this is the, the setup. Uh, you can see that it, it clicks right underneath the toilet seat. There's just a regular toilet, not a special toilet. It uh, just clicks right into the toilet seat. All you have to do to install it is to uh, remove the toilet seat, which is just done with a couple of uh, thumb screws. Uh, if you've ever, you know, just swapped a toilet seat out, you know that, uh, you know, it's a pretty easy procedure. All you do is remove the toilet seat, uh, place this thing down, sandwich it between the toilet seat and the toilet, and uh, and screw the thing back together. That's that's all there is to it. The controls on there are, are right up here. Now this one, like I mentioned, has cold water on this side and hot water on this side and in the middle is kind of warm water. Right around here is the sweet spot for for our plumbing, for you know our uh, temperature ratios. And back here there's a couple of uh, different controls here. Now this setting here is for uh, washing the nozzles and I'll show you what that's like in a moment. Uh, this setting here is for washing your bum and the setting here is for women who have uh, you know uh, other anatomy that also needs to be washed as well and the only difference between this setting for women and this setting for you well both women and men who both uh, share butts um, uh, the, is just the angle of the of the spray now this setting here uh, is useful for a couple of reasons one it cleans out the nozzles as the name of it suggests it's called uh, nozzle cleaning uh, but also it helps to push water through the lines uh, before it gets to your bum uh, if you ever use a sink which I'm sure you probably have uh, you know that when you turn on the hot water you don't get hot warm water uh, right away you have to wait a little while so while the warm water is moving through here by turning this on uh, we're, we're getting rid of all the cold water that's in here and usually in the morning I'll just kind of like put my fingers on there and I can feel the warm water now so I know that this thing is ready to wash me. Like I mentioned I would usually put it around there um, and I, I oftentimes will keep it in this setting, this nozzle cleaning setting uh, for another reason which is when I turn this thing on uh, it didn't spray out of the toilet uh, because if you had it in either of the other two settings and you happened to bump this it would kind of spray up on the bottom of the toilet lid. So having it in this nozzle cleaning setting is kind of a it's a, it's a safety just against uh, having a, an accident like that. So let's, let's pop up inside here and you can see uh, the working parts in here. Uh, here's the nozzle cleaning setting. You can see when I do that, uh, there's water coming out the bottom there. There's a little shield here uh, that kind of shows the nozzles in there. And so it makes it easy to kind of get in there and clean those. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I thought that this was going to be kind of a, uh, well, I suppose I thought this was going to be kind of a big thing, uh, you know, changing to this. I, you know, I referenced earlier in the video that I'd associated these with, like, you know, they're from far off distant places and they have, like, you know, flashing lights and music and all this kind of, uh, you know, weird technical kind of stuff associated with them. I was under the misconception that, you know, when I bought one of these, it was going to have, like, some kind of, like, motorized spraying pattern, like a, like a, a lawn sprinkler, where it's like... Or, you know, like, how else are you going to get your whole butt? The way that, uh, I don't know if this is the way they all are, but the way this one works is it just sprays in one place. It, it seems pretty dead on for my body shape. It sprays your butt, and you kind of move yourself around in order to get everywhere. Uh, it sounds like maybe a little more awkward than it actually is when you're doing it. Uh, you know, it's just kind of shifting around and making sure that, you know, everything gets covered. And it's, it's really a... I, I, I don't want to get like weird about it, but it's a, it's a nice kind of relaxing feeling. In the same way that if you go into the shower, it just kind of feels nice for the water to be going over you. I mean, that's why people take showers that are like generally way longer than they need to be, just because it's comfortable feeling. You know, the bidet is really kind of the same thing, and it is the same thing. It's, it's water washing over you, cleaning you. It's a nice feeling, and um, I really like it. We have a ton of toilet paper here that we had stocked prior to COVID, uh, you know, just that... I knew that we would always use someday. It was probably years and years worth of toilet paper. And now with this thing, it's, you know, 10 times that because almost no toilet paper is being used. Now, if you have a bidet, you don't need to use any toilet paper. What you can do is just wash yourself and then have some clean cloths or something like that, like just some rags, you know, clean rags, uh, and just dry yourself off. It's really like toweling off after a bath. And then you can just take that and, you know, throw it into the laundry and you can wash that. It's not going to have any poop on it or anything because the water does all the work to clean all that stuff off. It's just getting the water off you so you're not like you know dripping while you're putting your 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 shorts and your pants back on. So, um, 
it, it, uh, it has the potential of making it so you never have to use toilet paper again. Now we still use toilet paper here just because it's convenient. We get tons of it. It's not particularly expensive or anything like that. Uh, you know, it's one less thing to wash. Uh, so, you know, we're still using toilet paper. Maybe at some point we'll get to a point where we just kind of use rags for it. But at the moment we're still, uh, you know, just using the toilet paper, but very, very tiny amount. Like it, each day I just use two tiny little sheets of it just to dry off. And that's all that I use. And it makes it so that the toilet paper that we have is just going to last so, so, so much longer. So if you're interested in trying something like this, I'd highly recommend this unit. There are lots of other ones uh, that you could try. I'm going to put a link down in the description below to, uh, you know, this particular unit. But uh, again, whatever you get, I would suggest getting it from a reputable company. Uh, and I would suggest getting one that has hot water if you think that's important to you. I think I mentioned earlier in this video, uh, nobody else in my family really cares that much whether it's hot or cold water. I really like it. Uh, you know, it's a nice thing for me. Uh, but, you know, that, that's to everybody's preference. You know, maybe like a, a shock of cold every morning to help you wake up. So that's it. I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, this is just one other tool of diversification. You know, toilet paper is one way of cleaning yourself. Uh, you know, Dirty old newspapers is another way of cleaning yourself, and a, bay, a bidet is another way of cleaning yourself. So the more tools you can have in your arsenal to handle any kind of a job, even if it's just wiping your butt, I think that's a good thing uh, because when one of those tools breaks down, and a bidet could break down as well, you know, and it's good to have the toilet paper as well, like, you know, your bidet breaks. I've never had any uh, issues with this or anything to suggest that there's going to be a problem with this bidet, but it's a mechanical device, and, you know, eventually mechanical devices all kind of break down. That's one of the reasons we have two in the house. We have one downstairs and one upstairs, so if one breaks, we can use the other one while we, you know, order a replacement, but it's just nice to have options for things. So, links down in the description below if you'd like to try out this specific one or other ones that are uh, you know made by the same manufacturer i'd highly recommend the manufacturer they seem very reputable they've been doing this for a while and you know at least this product really really works well that's it thanks for watching this episode has been brought to you in part by prescott caliber club and jesky defense strategies prescott caliber club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms survival gear and producing great online content if you want to thank them for supporting this channel go check them out at prescottcalclub.com please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos and if you'd like to support this channel you can do so through patreon or paypal